Hmm. Nothing. So there's nothing sitting out there right now. Uh, as you can see, my truck is not there. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll go ahead and tell the story of what's going on or what happened to my truck. So let's go inside and uh, have a chat. So I didn't even know if I was going to put this video out because I didn't know if I wanted to put this type of energy out. So I've kind of, I kind of let everybody into my trucking life. So maybe it could help somebody. I don't know. Okay, so a little bit of story time. So back when I first got my truck, I had some electrical issues on one of my first Amazon runs. It caused all my lights, dash, cab lights, everything to go off. But the uh, running lights, at least for the headlights, stayed on. I had some electrical uh, issues with the truck, but you know, the truck is old, so I don't know where they originated from. I just try to alleviate the problem myself, being that I'm my own mechanic. So that night I was able to get it fixed. And it's been, I've had a couple little hiccups here and there, but nothing major as that night. Uh, my lights did go out, I wanna say it was August, while I was driving down 64. Luckily it was during the day, but I had noticed they were clicking back and forth and uh, going out while I was driving. After I had stopped the truck, restarted it, it seemed to have went away again. Fast forward to December and um, I took a load at night again. And this time I had noticed my ELD was kind of going in and out. It would cut off and then it would cut back on and this, it was doing it while I was driving. And it was, but it was just the ELD so I didn't think it was, I thought it was maybe just the ELD problem. Then I drove a couple more times and I noticed that the ELD kept doing that. Right before the main issue happened, um, I noticed my gauges went out, but just the gauges, my headlights and my running lights, none of that went out this time, it was just the gauges. Well, being that it was just the gauges, I just kept driving. Um, luckily I was on a 25 mile an hour road and I was right around uh, my house anyway, so I just went ahead and drove home. As Soon as I got home, I parked the truck turned it off, turned it back on, and the gauge just came back to life. So I thought maybe it was just a little hiccup. So on the next day, I took another load, and on the way back home, I was on uh, the highway, and some electrical issues started happening again, but this time, a fire started. I was able to pull off the road, and I was able to fight the fire uh, a little bit. I, I was able to use my fire extinguisher to... Uh, pretty much subdue the flame. But the fire extinguisher is so small that it couldn't extinguish it completely. The fire had basically crept up under the dash, so when I hit it with the fire extinguisher, it put it out where I could see it. But where it was still burning, I couldn't see it. I think I pulled over for about three minutes and I might have been doing what I was doing for maybe three minutes. Two minutes later, uh, a, a random officer just happened to be going to another call down the highway and seeing me on the side of the road so he was able to stop immediately. He wanted me to back up from the truck and by this time uh, things had started to get uh, very hot, um, needless to say. So I was on the phone with the dispatcher telling her the location of where I was at and the officer also was telling him the location of where we were at so we backed up. I guess where the fire station was it took a little bit of time for them to get to me by the time they got to me, the truck was basically destroyed. So here goes some footage of the aftermath of what happened. Well, it looks like this is how my 2022 is gonna start. Um, my electrical gremlins came back with a vengeance. And uh, if I could tell you guys anything, Make sure you upgrade this fire extinguisher because this is not worth anything. This is the fire extinguisher that's in the truck. And um, I tried to put out what I seen from my electrical gremlins and it did not work. Uh, actually, I put it out for a second and then it came right back. So it wasn't enough basically.
So yeah, that's what happened. Um, I've had a little time to process this, so this is one of those things that you have no control over. So if you have no control over it, you just basically got to um, work it the best way you can. My hesitation for putting this a video out about this is I don't want nobody. I don't want a pity party. I don't. I don't. I'm a fighter. So this is nothing but another knuckle up for me, and it is what it is. You know, this this is spilled milk, and I'm not gonna cry over it. Um, you know, I'm a fighter. This is nothing new as far as getting in the trenches. I come from the trenches, so fighting is nothing new to me. I guess as far as this channel is concerned, content's gonna change a little bit, but you guys get to see me get it out the mud again or, you know, fight my way back up. Um, I got a thousand skills, so I'm not concerned about getting out and making money. That's never been hard for me to do. As far as right now, you know, I guess trucking is over for me. I got knowledge still, but, you know, trucking is kind of done for right now. But like I said, there's nothing I can do about that. There's only one constant, and that's change. And when change comes, you're going to change. And I've been forced. Y'all just know that, you know, I'm going to still be here making videos. Um, content might change a little bit, but, I mean, that's to be expected as of right now. But, you know, nothing I can do about that. I don't know what the future holds, but um, in the grand scheme of things, there's only a few things I have control over. And one is um, what I see and what I choose to dwell on. So the, the bad things that hap happen to a person or, you know, the things that happen in life, I choose not to dwell on that. As long as I got another day to get up and breathe, then... It's a, it's a fight that I'm going to get up and fight. I'm not going to dwell on the bad things that happen, you know, especially when it comes to um, the equipment that we have around us. I've, I've lost so much money over the years doing things, you know, another 10, 20, 30 grand is not going to end my life. <laughs> you know, I've literally burnt through tens of thousands of dollars trying things before uh, in my life. So, uh, you know, another fight, this type of fight is financial fight is not new to me that's one of the reasons why i have so many skills is because um i use those to fall back on if things don't go right so i'll, I'll jump out and try what i try and then if i need to i'll fall back on my skills um so that's that's what i got to do now and it's nothing new to me so like i said don't don't feel sorry for me you know as long as you see me on here and i can smile it is what it is. You know, we're still going to move forward. 2022 is still going to be an exceptional year and we need to treat it as such. Uh, and that's where our minds and our thoughts need to be focused on uh, onward and upward. Even if this is not the gig, um, something else will take its place and we will keep growing as individuals, as a community and as people. You know, I guess we will see what the next chapter holds. Thank you for tuning into this video. I know this is not what a lot of people expected, but you know, things happen to the best of us. I'm not, I'm not even the best. I'm just a, a guy, you know, that this happened to. What I will do is make a couple videos to go over some safety issues um, that I found that are lackluster and some insurance issues that I found that are lackluster to make sure you, the audience and my subscribers is aware of certain things if you find yourself in a similar situation or even just an accident, you want to make sure uh, you got all your uh, ducks in a row. That being said, thank you for tuning in and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.